2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please stand and face towards the back of the church for the rite of blessing of Pauls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole Church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in His footsteps so that, being made by His grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in His resurrection and in His life.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem as he drew, drew near to Bethphage and Bethany at the place called the Mount of Olives. He sent two of his disciples. He said, Go into the village opposite you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. And if anyone should ask you, Why are you untying it? You will answer, The master has need of it. So those who had been sent went off and found everything just as, as, as he had told them. And as they were untying the colt, its owner said to them, Why are you untying this colt? They answered, The master has need of it. So they brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks over the colt, and helped Jesus to mount as he rode along, the people were spreading their cloaks on the road. And now as he was approaching the slope of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to praise God aloud with joy for all the mighty deeds they had seen. They proclaimed, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He said in reply, I tell you, if they keep silent, the stones will cry out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We shall now have the prayer of blessing of palm branches. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives in forever and ever. Amen. Please dear, raise. Dear brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, Amen. Please raise and wave your palms for the blessing.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. Many dogs surround me. A pack of evil lures closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. A 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to, to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Brother, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. The elders of the people, chief priests and scribes, arose and brought Jesus before Pilate. They brought charges against him, saying, We found this man misleading our people. He opposes the payment of taxes to Caesar and maintains that he is the Christ, a king. Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? You say so. Pilate then addressed the chief priests and the crowds. I find this man not guilty. But they were adamant and said, He is inciting the people with his teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee where he began, even to here. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean, and upon learning that he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod, who was in Jerusalem at that time. Herod was very glad to see Jesus. He had been wanting to see him for a long time, for he had heard about him and been hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at length, but he gave no answer. The chief priests and scribes, meanwhile, stood by, accusing him harshly. Herod and his soldiers treated him contemptuously and mocked him. And after clothing him in a splendid garb, he sent him back to Pilate. Herod and Pilate became friends that very day, even though they had been enemies formerly. Pilate then summoned the chief priests, the rulers, and the people, and said to them, you brought this man to me and accused him of inciting the people to revolt. I have conducted my investigation in your presence and have not found this man guilty of the charges you have brought against him. Nor did Herod, for he sent him back to us. So, no capital crime has been committed by him. Therefore, I shall have him flogged, 
and then release him. But all together they shouted out, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Release Barabbas! Barabbas! Now Barabbas had been imprisoned for a rebellion that had taken place in the city and for murder. Again, Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus, but they continued their shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate addressed them a third time, What evil has this man done? I found him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore, I shall have him flogged and then release him. With loud shouts, however, they persisted in calling for his crucifixion, and their voices prevailed. The verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So he released the man who had been imprisoned for rebellion and murder, for whom they asked, and he handed Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At the time, people will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen? when it is dry. Now two others, both criminals, were led away with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They divided his garments by casting lots. The people stood by and watched. The rulers, meanwhile, sneered at him and said, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the King of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly. For the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes, but this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse of the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last. Please all kneel. Please all stand. 
the centurion who witnessed what had happened, glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. When all the people who had gathered for this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home, beating their breasts. But all his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the women who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, after two years of not being able to gather for the Holy Week celebrations, after two years when our Holy Week was reduced to online celebrations, we thank the Lord for being able to gather today and throughout this week to celebrate the most important week of our Christian faith. Salamat sa Diyos at ngayon makakapunta na tayo sa simbahan, magagawa na natin ang mga tradisyonal na ginagawa natin kapag mga mahal na araw. Sigurado po ako na namiss nating lahat ang mga pagdiriwang na ganito. Kaya naman sana ay gamitin natin ang pagkakataong ito. Huwag nating sayangin ang pagkakataong ito na ipagdiwang ng makahulugan ang mga misteryo ng ating pananampalataya. Pumunta po tayo sa ating mga simbahan taimtim tayong magdasal, makiisa tayo sa mga pagdiriwang upang tunay nating maipagdiwang at magunita ang kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. We begin the Holy Week with the celebration of Palm Sunday. Jesus enters the holy city of Jerusalem and according to the gospel that we heard during the rite of the blessing of palms, Jesus was welcomed like a king. Sinalubong siya na parang hari sa kanyang pagpasok sa banal na lungsod ng Jerusalem. Naglatag ang mga tao ng kanilang balabal sa kanyang daraanan. Sumisigaw sila, Hosanna sa anak ni David. Pinagpala ang naparirito sa ngala ng Panginoon. Iwinigaw, iwinigayway nila ang mga palaspas, ang mga sanga ng olibo. Nagalak ang lahat dahil si Jesus ay dumating. And we all know the reason why Jesus entered Jerusalem. Pumunta si Jesus sa Jerusalem, hindi lang naman para mamasyal, hindi upang maging turista. Pumunta si Jesus sa Jerusalem upang doon sa Jerusalem ay harapin ang kanyang pagpapakasakit, pagkamatay na maghahatid sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. That is the very reason why Jesus courageously faced Jerusalem. By entering the holy city, He was saying, I am willing to suffer. I am ready to die. The death that will lead to the resurrection. And this is what we heard in the passion narrative we proclaimed at this Mass. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, after listening 
to that long passion narrative, there is one thing that bothers me. Pagkatapos nating marinig yung kwento kung paano si Jesus ay hinusgahan, ipinako sa krus at namatay, nababahala ako. Dahil sa kwentong ito, lumalabas na napagkaisahan si Jesus. Naranasan nyo na bang mapagkaisahan? Sa eskwelahan, minsan merong group work, may group report, at sasabihin o kailangan may isang leader ang grupo, minsan ikaw yung mapagkakaisahan na maging leader ng grupo. O kaya kailangan ng reporter, ikaw yung mapagkakaisahan, o ikaw na, ikaw na, ang reporter natin. O kaya, mapagkakaisahan ka na ikaw na ang gagawa ng project. Wala nang gagawin yung iba, ikaw na ang lahat na gagawa, na pagkaisahan ka. Minsan sa trabaho, ganyan din. Na pagkakaisahan ang isang kasamahan sa trabaho, itinatambak lahat sa kanya ang mga gawain na pagkaisahan. Sa magbabarkada, minsan kahit biruan, may napagkakaisahan ng biruan, ng tawanan, ng lokohan, na pagkaisahan. Si Jesus, na pagkaisahan din. Jesus was a victim of the conspiracy among the elders of the people the scribes and the Pharisees, the Jews, Pilate, and the Romans, they all united against Jesus. Yung mga matatanda ng bayan, mga eskriba at mga pariseyo, nagkaisa na gumawa ng maling paratang laban kay Jesus. Para silang mga trolls na nagpapakalat ng mga maling balita para bilugin ang isip ng mga tao na masamang tao ang Jesus na yan. At yung mga hudyo naman, agad naniwala. Hindi man lamang nag-fact check. Tinanggap na lamang yung mga narinig na balibalita kaya sigaw ng sigaw, patayin yan, ipako yan sa krus. Kasi narinig nila sa mga bulong-bulungan na hindi naman totoo. Si Pilato at si Herodes nagkaisa din laban kay Jesus. Sabi sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon, dati naman magkaaway ang dalawang yan. Pero dahil pareho silang kalaban ni Jesus, yung dating magkaaway, naging magkaibigan. Dahil sa maling hangarin na labanan si Jesus. Nagkaisa laban kay Jesus. Yung mga Romano, kahit na nga yung isang nakapako sa krus kasama ni Jesus, nilibak din si Jesus. Nagkaisa laban kay Jesus. At yung pagkakaisang yun, nauwi sa kamatayan ni Jesus. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, not all unity is good. Because people can unite for an evil purpose. 
hindi lahat ng pagkakaisa mabuti. Dahil pwedeng magkaisa ang mga tao para sa masama. Pwedeng magkaisa ang masasama. Pwedeng magkaisa ang mga tao may baluktot na hangarin. Pwedeng magkaisa ang mga tao sa paggawa ng kasalanan. At si Jesus ang unang-unang biktima ng maling pagkakaisang yan. Ang pagkakaisa ng masama ay nagdudulot ng kasamaan. Ang pagkakaisa ng may mga baluktot na hangarin nagbubunga ng kapahamakan. At yan ang nakita natin sa kwento ni Jesus ng kanyang pagpapakasakit at pagkamatay sa krus. Napagkaisahan si Jesus. But if there are people who conspired against Jesus, there are also people who took the side of Jesus. Sa kwentong ating narinig sa araw na ito, marami din naman ang kumampi kay Jesus. Unang-una na yung mga sumalubong sa Kanya nang siya'y pumasok sa Jerusalem. Yung mga sumigaw ng Hosanna, yung mga nagwagayway ng kanilang mga palaspas para sa lubungin si Jesus, tanda ng kanilang pakikiisa kay Jesus. Si Simon, na taga Sireneo, Simon of Cyrene, who helped Jesus carry his cross, took the side of Jesus. The women of Jerusalem who wept when they saw Jesus carrying his cross, sila din nakiisa sa pagdurusa ni Jesus. Yung isang kriminal na ipinagtanggol si Jesus laban sa kanyang kasamang kriminal na nakapako din sa krus, nanindigan para kay Jesus. At dahil doon, dahil nakiisa siya kay Jesus, sabi ni Jesus sa kanya, isasama kita sa paraiso. At kahit na nga yung pinuno ng mga kawal, the centurion, at the end of the gospel, who witnessed everything and said, this is truly the Son of God, he also took the side of Jesus. At sa lahat ng mga kumampi kay Jesus, nanindigan para kay Jesus, nakabahagi sa kaligtasang ipinagkaloob ni Jesus. Mga minamahal na kapatid, mag-iingat po tayo kung sino ang ating sinasamahan, kung kanino tayo nakikiisa, kung sino ang ating kinakampihan. When evil people unite for an evil purpose, good people should also unite to promote goodness. Kapag nagkakaisa ang kasamaan upang gumawa ng masama, ang mabubuting tao dapat magkampi-kampi para gawin ang mabuti, ang totoo, at ang tama. Today, as we commemorate the triumphant entry of Jesus to Jerusalem, we are being asked, Will you go with Him? Or will you oppose Him? Will you take His side? Or will you be His enemy? Sino ba ang kakampi mo? Kanino ka ba nakikiisa? Sana 
kasama natin si Jesus, at kapag kasama natin si Jesus, kasama rin natin ang kabutihan, ang katarungan, ang katotohanan, ang kabanalan. May we always take the side of Jesus. For the side of Jesus is the side of goodness, of justice, of truth, of righteousness, of peace, and of love. Kanino ka sumasama? Kanino ka kumakampi? Kanino ka kaisa? Mga minamahal na kapatid, mag-iingat po tayo. Baka kasi kaisa na naman tayo sa mga humihiling ng kamatayan ni Jesus. Mag-iingat tayo. Baka kasama tayo sa muling nagpapapatay kay Jesus. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our King has entered His city. Our palms and cries of homage fade away as the crowds of the Gospel tell the story of His suffering and death. Let us bring our prayers to the Father through the Son He gave up for us with love beyond our comprehension. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church all around the world, following the Savior during Holy Week, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For peoples of all races and nations who seek peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer mental, physical, or spiritual anguish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19. And for those who care for them, may the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gentle repose of the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who need our prayers. We pray for peace in the world, especially between Ukraine and Russia. We also pray for, the, for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord and Father, with serene courage, your Son went forth to die for us. Grant us a share in his strength as we bring these prayers before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Today is also Alay Kapwa Sunday, and so our collection for this Mass will be given to our brothers and sisters who are in need 
through Caritas Manila. Thank you for your generosity. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may your reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, though we do not merit it by our own deeds, Yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, He suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim.
Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sinned against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deception and lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
feel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Salamat po sa mga kapatid natin na matyagang nagsisimba dyan sa labas. Maraming salamat din po sa lahat ng kaisa natin sa pagdiriwang na ito sa pamamagitan ng live streaming. Thank you for joining this celebration. And we also thank those who assisted at this Mass sa atin pong mga staff, servants, at sa nag-provide ng sign interpretation para sa ating banal na misa. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Ang mga schedules po ng ating mga pagdiriwang para sa mga susunod na araw at ang mga oras din ng kumpisal ay makikita po ninyo sa Facebook page ng Manila Cathedral. Kaya please visit, dislike, follow and share our Facebook page, The Manila Cathedral, para po ma-update kayo sa mga pagdiriwang natin dito. At isa pong kagalakan na makasama kayo sa mga pagdiriwang, lalong-lalo na po simula sa Webes Santo, Biyernes Santo, Sabado de Gloria at sa susunod na linggo, sa linggo ng muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. Ang susunod po nating misa ay sa ganap na ikasampu, ten o'clock, sa mga dadalo po ng ating misa. Uh, uh, Di-disinfect lang po kami dito sa loob pagkatapos ng misang ito para maihanda ang lugar para sa ating susunod na misa. Dawa ay pagpalain po ng Panginoon itong linggong ito, mga mahal na araw, at gawin nating tunay na banal ang mga araw na ito sa pamamagitan ng ating pananalangin ng taimtim, sa pamamagitan ng pakikisa natin sa mga pagdiriwang, at lalo't higit sa pamamagitan ng ating mabubuting gawa para sa isa't isa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked, but submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.